Guys, guys, come here. Come here. I know why the Fleet Foxes really disappeared five years ago, and it's gonna blow you away. So I was taking a leisurely stroll through the woods when I came across this. To you, it may appear to just be a drawing of a fox, but this is proof. It's evidence. It says self-portrait right here. And Robin Pecknow, the lead singer of Fleet Foxes, this is his signature. It got me intrigued. So I went down the rabbit hole and did some research. I had to find out. I had to know if my theory was true. I believe that the Fleet Foxes are indeed actual foxes. Well, at least magical foxes. So I was doing some research, and in one of my records I found an article where Pecknold himself describes one of the other band members as a full fox. Now, of course, everyone just thought, huh, he's talking about the band, obviously. Are you crazy? He just told us. He just described one of the members as a full fox. It's right there. And that furthered my entry into this mystery. So I did some more research. And I wondered why exactly would Sub Pop not want to be associated with the Fleet Foxes? They're an amazing, successful group. So, I found out that the reason they switched to none such records was because of one key thing in their record contract. And it turns out that after every two successful full-length records, the Fleet Foxes are given five years to return to the wild. That's the reason they disappeared five years ago, because they were out. They were being magical, majestical foxes. That's why they have such a deep connection to nature, to the earth, to other animals, of course. So they were foxes for five long years, getting inspiration, living happily, to return on June 16th to blow our minds with another folk epic. So, are you ready? I know I am. And of course, I'm going to put this drawing back because Pecknold can never find out that I know this. And again, this is very hush-hush. We can't tell a soul.